while we have a, a very real cattle shortage, at this point, we do not have a beef shortage going to consumers. Mm -hmm. And so who do we tip our hat to on that one then, Don? Has that been, you know, have we had market signals that work to do that? Has it just been economies of scale? I, I, because 200 pounds live weight in less than 10 years, like that's a significant shift genetically. So, yes. so who gets the credit for that? That is a great question. <laughs> and, and they, that is a great question. I, I would, I would first answer that by just saying it clearly demonstrates the efficiency of the marketplace. And, and with that efficiency of the marketplace, number one, I would give credit to the genetics of the cattle we're working with today is not only the quality of that product being produced better than it's ever been, but the size of those cattle are con continuously getting bigger. Mm 